What do you think about the no deposit scheme where I buy a house with no deposit? I mean, yeah, look, if, if you ain't got no deposit, then yeah, if the government's willing for you, allowing you to get on the property that about putting down the deposit, then yeah, do it. Do it. But the question is, how can you not be able to accumulate any deposit whatsoever? That's a problem there, because that means that you can't save up money. So like, my girls had some clients and that where like, they've been gifted the money by like their parents or whoever, innit? And when I hear that, I think to myself, hmm, like, obviously some of them, yeah, might have put in 20 grand and the parents have topped up 20 grand. That's cool. But some of them, they haven't put down no deposit. The whole entire gift, the, the whole entire deposit, that 40K is gifted from mum and or dad. And I think to myself, if you don't even have the money or you wasn't able to put down any money as a deposit, what's the chances of you maintaining this this mortgage for the next 25 to 35 years because there's a lot that goes into saving up 30 grand that takes a lot of discipline you know like i said at the beginning of the stream the people then that are saving up whatever 20 30 grand and that they you know they had the opportunity to buy balenciaga and all this crap and they said no that's what i'm saying yeah the people then that do decide to buy balenciaga and rolex and bust down kettle pots and pans watches and that the reason why they will never get on a property ladder and that is because they would prefer to buy that over saving up. So it's, it's, it's a mindset. If you can't even save up 20, 30 grand and that, how the hell are you going to maintain your, your, your mortgage and that? So I reckon a lot of those people that get gifted that big money and that, that aren't really on a big wage, I reckon a lot of them probably end up defaulting, you know, within the next 10 years.